there, I am Susie from Start A Mom Blog and when the babies are sleeping and I'm not blogging, then I'm editing pictures and I mostly use PicMonkey to do that. So I wanna show you today how to make an image go over text so it kinda of looks like the two are blending together and this is pretty, it's a pretty cool effect. Um, I try to do it in Photoshop but it was too tricky and um, I just, I'm not that good at Photoshop yet but PicMonkey is super simple and easy to use so I wanna show you how to do it. So what we're gonna go into today is create something like this. So I'll show you um, how to edit the image and then add that really awesome text over it so it looks like it's blending throughout the image. So it's pretty darn neat that you can use PicMonkey to do this. So first of all, I normally use my own stock images. Um, I take my own images just because I like to play and take images or I go to Pexels if I need a real quick pic picture real quick. Um, so for that one, I typed in nursery and that was the image that I looked for. Or was it baby? I think it was baby, here it is, okay. So this is the image that I had originally. So go into it, I saved it to my computer. New mommy with baby. All right, and then I went into PicMonkey and I first edited the picture. Let's see if we can find it with all my pictures. I always lose things on my computer. Where did I save it? Oh man. There it is. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, got it, was off in the corner. All right, so it loads. Um, normally I'm creating images here on PicMonkey for Pinterest and the images on Pinterest work really well if they're long and vertical. So obviously this picture is very horizontal. Um, what I would do is then crop it and take out the vertical part that I really like. So let's do that. You can still kind of see the mommy and the baby in the background and the baby mobile. So I'll go ahead and apply that. Um, the colors are okay. It's not as poppy as I want them to be. So I'll go into exposure. I'll do a little bit of auto adjust. Kind of play with the highlights and the brightness here because I'm gonna add white text over it. So I want this to be a little darker. There you go. Okay, so you can see just adjusting some of the um, the settings here makes my image a little darker. So we'll go ahead and hit apply. Then I'm gonna go ahead into my text. I'm going to add the text. So was it nine, what was our text? Nine newborn nursery ideas. Nine newborn nursery ideas. Okay, so that's gonna be your the blog post that you just created. We'll make the nine a little bigger so that stands out. Um, we'll make newborn bold and larger. All right, but not, it's not all fitting, so let's make it all a little smaller. Change the color to white. And then add more text for new moms. Is that what we had here? For a new mom. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna select that. That's gonna be white as well because that pops out. And I love this coffee break um, font. So I would advise the main part of your, your blog post needs to be in a very easy to read font. And then kind of just a little elaboration um, little spunk can be in a funky font. So make sure that the crux of your um, your blog post, the newborn nursery ideas, that's what it's about, is easy to read. And then for a new mom is kind of fun. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I wanted to overlap some of the mobile here, because that's the parts that I'm gonna erase and make it look like it's blended into, so you can see the R and the N here, the nine at the top. All right, and four new moms. 
can add that to the bottom. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to overlap the image. All right. So that's, that's really kind of cute. Okay. So what we do then is we go into here, into the top settings of PicMonkey and go into canvas color and click transparent canvas. So that takes that image away, but it keeps the text. It's hard to see right now, but the text is still there. So we hit save, go ahead and apply that canvas color. Um, nine tips for nursery ideas, text. I'll save that to my hub. And normally I didn't like using the hub at first, but now I do because it's so easy to just go find my pictures on the hub, on the PicMonkey hub, than on my computer, as you saw earlier. All right, so we've saved that overlay. So now I actually want to go back and here's your little undo button. So I get back to my image. So I know that's a little tricky. So I actually took the image away. I made the canvas color transparent, saved the text. And then as soon as I got back here, I, um, I brought that image back with the undo button here. So now I'm gonna delete the text because we want the text to be an image, not a text. So this is tricky. So we go into um, overlays now and you add your own from the hub because the text you just saved is now saved as an image. It's right here, it's hard to see because they're all white. We'll add that. And here you can see the text is now an image. So we can line, up, line it up where we want it to be. Can even make it a little bigger. All right. And then what you want to do is make sure you selected it and go into the little eraser tool. And we want to erase parts of it. So the nine here. And don't worry if you erase a little bit too much. We can always paint it back on. So let's have our little star come out here. and then we can paint it back on and we'll make our brush a little smaller so we paint it a little bit more detailed. There you go. We can make the harshness a little softer so it blends more, that looks better. Otherwise, I don't want those really rigid lines. That looks way better. All right, so here you can see, it's kind of like it's inside that baby mobile. And that's how you have this really cool title. So it's a way to set yourself apart from all the other pins on Pinterest where you're spending a little bit more time working on your pen and making your titles and images look really awesome. But PicMonkey is such an amazing tool to, to do that with. You don't need really expensive programs like Photoshop um, to make these really professional images. And like I showed you, you can just go to Pexels and get some free stock images there. You can take your own, you can buy stock images, um, make sure that you're not um, taking images that are illegal, so make sure that your images are okay, and then you can add some really awesome text on it. So go ahead and then save that to your hub. So it's saved to your hub, and then how to get it out of here to then add it to Pinterest would be going to export. You can export it in different qual qualities. Um, the middle one is fine. Export to your computer. We'll export it to my desktop so I make sure I don't lose it. <laughs> All right, so there's to my desktop. And then we'll go into Pinterest. And you can either add it to your blog post and then pin it from your blog post onto Pinterest. Or you can just go into Pinterest itself. Click on the little save pin. Upload from your device. Upload the image we just had. Associate it with the blog post. 
So I'm teaching you some additional steps here. Make sure to add a really good um, description because Pinterest is a search engine. And if you don't have a description here, it's not going to know what to bring up. So a newborn nursery ideas for a new mom. You probably don't want to do that all caps. And then you'll save that. And there you go. You just created a beautiful pin. It's on Pinterest. One thing we missed was adding your logo to the bottom, but I have a video um, that shows you how to add logos to your images. So isn't that pretty darn cool? All right. I hope you like that. So that's that showed you how to get an image, add text, make it look really professional and cool, add it to Pinterest, and then obviously drive more traffic to your blog. All right, hope that helped. You can find me at Start a Mom Blog. I have more tips and ideas to help you grow your blog and manage your time as a mommy. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, or you can just subscribe and be a friend. That'd be awesome too. All right, talk to you soon.